Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be inspecting Leicester City squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here you might want to hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. Now I've been up all night and early into this morning trying to work on each and every one of these Premier League teams and now we are here with Leicester City uh, who joined the illustrious club of Premier League winners. Uh, try and say that to Liverpool fans, eh? But anyway, let's waste no more time. Jump straight in with the start of this video. Goal! That's right, folks. We're going to be digging into Leicester City uh, squad now and taking a look at the overview. Should you decide to choose these uh, illustrious Premier League winners? Obviously, the season has gone by since their victorious season. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the uh, pre-season. This is the, the, the setup for Leicester City. They're going to be looking like they're going to be a tour of Denmark. Well, there's a couple of Danish teams in here. Den Haag's Dutch. Uh, Belenissis, I'm not too sure where they're from. So a quick scan of them. Portugal. So mixed bag of teams. Nothing too crazy. Um, and let's jump straight into the meat of the action. Let's have a look how much cash you got to spend after that uh, illustrious championships uh, winning season or Premier League winning season. You know, I don't want to say championship, which it kind of uh, belittles it somewhat. But anyway, you start off with twenty-four million pound with one point five million uh, pound a week wage budget, but you can adjust it somewhat, maybe to push it towards twenty-six, should you decide to alter it. Uh, moving on, let's have a look at the under eighteen setup. Um, this is your youngsters for the future. Whole mixed bag of tricks in here. We've got a young South African fella, 17 years of age. Uh, I'll let you guys pronounce that guy's name. Um, he's only valued at 5k, 17 years of old, years of age. Not the greatest stats, even at this stage of his um, career. Uh, let's have a look at this Italian, Calvin Ungalumba, 17 years old. Again. Still a lot of time on his side. Maybe he will kick on. Coach has given him a three, pretty much a three star of um, his current ability. Get out of my way. Potential ability, not so great. Who's the most valued in this young squad? What is this guy? Sim Tandy. English right back or centre back. 17 years of age. 5 foot 11. He's ranked 165 grand. He's got some good statistics potential. Look at that. Knocking on five stars. Maybe get him loaned out. Who's after him? Who is after him? Crawley and Forest Green, obviously on a loan loan option. Um, just for giggles, look at this guy. Six foot seven. Gigantor. Lucas Husick. £198. He's a monster. Anyway, let's take a look at the under 20 freeze. Let's get this uh, reshaped. Uh, look at the squad here. Um, quite an extensive... Uh, under 23 roster. Let's have um, three keepers on the books. Daniel Everson, Ben Hamer, 29 years old. He's looking for some some place else. Crystal Palace are after him. Um, let's take a look deep. Are any major players, major hitters? This guy's on a holiday. Quite a lot of loanies out. Let's have a look at the value of these players. The Palace Mendy. 25 years old, he's on loan. Where did he go to? Went to OGCN. I'm not entirely sure. Nice. Played with Baratelli in France. Leonardo Ulloa. Ul um, he's also in the reserves. He had a bit of a falling out with the last manager. Maybe he'll get his uh, maybe he'll get his game time back now with a new gaffer in charge. Um, yes, a pretty... Who's this youngster? Young Polish guy. 7 million on loan at Freiburg. Pretty good statistics for a 20-year-old. Um, one for the future, perhaps. But yeah, anyway, let's jump into the main squad and have a look. See what we got to work with. Cash Bush Michael, ranked 17.5 million. He's 30 years old now. Seems to have been around, I think, I recall the days playing uh, champ manager or manager a long, long time ago. I remember Cash Bush Michael as a, as a youngster on... Uh, on Man City's books, I believe, and that's going back. That's going back 14 years. So um, he's been in the, in the game a while. Um, Danny Simpson, ex Rover, he was on loan way back when. Um, 
13 million. Pretty, pretty uh, broad and decent statistics for uh, for Danny Simpson. Uh, any standouts? Jamie Vardy ranked knocking on 30 million. A lot of these guys obviously got their Premier League winner's medal. Who's the most important? Adrian Silva. Unavailable. So I guess that deal never never materialised. But he's on the books. He's kind of in limbo. He can't play for uh, Sporting and he can't play for Leicester. That deal has to uh, get finalised um, in the new January window. Mares still there. He was rumoured to be on his way out over the last uh, for the summer transfer window. But that never happened. Uh, Mark Vardy, after the Premier League winning campaign, was linked with Arsenal. Didn't go. Is he regretting that move? Perhaps. Um, and there's a, there's, a, there's a core youngsters coming through here. Uh, Nadini, he was brought in um, at the end of the, uh, the championship winning campaign. So, not bad squad. Um, pretty decent. But what, what are the, uh, what's the board thinking? The board thinks, expects you to be mid-table. That's pretty decent. I think in the real world, I don't think that's the case, though. I think uh, whoever takes over the hot seat there has got a big shoes to fill. Ranieri obviously made this a job that's that's pretty... It's going to be a hot seat. No one's going to eclipse what he, he's done. No one will probably ever eclipse what he's, he's done. He'd come in, worked his magic, and but then he was booted out shortly after. Anyway, in the FA Cup, the board expects you to reach the fifth round. So a couple hurdles to jump there and they also expect you to reach the fourth round of the uh, league cup that's for your team report feel free to take a pause and have a read through that There's a lot of text to go through there but i haven't got the time squad depth left back seems to be an area of weakness or uh, at least lacking the players um when you look at the rest of the, the, the positions around the the pitch left back is, is an area that that lacks in numbers so that's something you might want to consider pumping your cash at um yeah and maybe another goalkeeper perhaps i don't know uh what else do we have factoids what is this oh, these are interesting yeah you might want to spend some time reading that but again onwards and upwards onto the dynamics now Dressing room atmosphere is pretty decent. Nothing crazy. Uh, managerial support is poor. Cohesion is also poor. But I'm just I'm just in. Newly newly hired. So that's going to take some time to build. Let's have a look at the hierarchy. These are three players you would consider as your team captains. Uh, currently Wes Morgan is the skipper, but he is knocking on a bit. Schmeichel could be the next guy to take over the armband. Should Morgan pack it in or move on um, in the at the end of the season. In fact, I need a backtrack. I need a backtrack. Let's go back to the squad. And I didn't really reveal who is going to be expired. Robert Huth, his contract ends. Dragovic, he's on loan from Leverkusen. Uh, those are your two main concerns. Morgan's got another year, so you know, don't even worry about that too much. Social groups. These five players are the, your, your, your core social group. Um, then you've got another section here, another bunch of boys. But I guess it's these guys have been around a while and around Leicester. That's why they're considered your core. Um, and you would use these for possible mentors for any youngsters. Overall happiness. Uh, generally pretty good. we got this guy here, slightly poor. He's on loan. Ben Chilwell seems a bit miffed as well. So, But, you know, so far so good. Is the start of the season. So that's pretty much all I have for you. If there's something I have missed, please let me know in the comments section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next day or so. Uh, but if there is a club out there that you want me to give an overview on, just let me know in the, in the description, in, not in the description, in the comments below, and I will uh, try and see what I can do. Um, and what's the initial craziness of the beta and the actual FM game uh, does calm down. I do plan to do some game saves. So please stick around, check back on those. Um, and if you have some suggestions for some game saves, I am open to ears. Um, I do like a bit of a challenge, but I ain't no professional. This is actually uh, returning to the FM scene after a good long chunk of time out. But anyway, until next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. 
As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not, Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.